Dear friends of the non-European art and culture, yesterday, the August the 20th, 2020, I was at the Museum der Völker in Schwarz. Schwarz is a city near Innsbruck in Austria. And I was there because they celebrated two anniversaries. First, the founder of the museum, Gerd Casey, he celebrated his 80th birthday. He is not uh, responsible for the museum at, anymore and he has donated his objects to the Stadt Schwarz. And second, the museum itself had its 25th anniversary. And I have to confess that this museum was always one of my absolute favorites. In early time it was called Haus der Völker, now it's Museum der Völker. And they made a party, that means they made a martini yesterday with more than 100 guests, among them Casey and the Bürgermeister of Schwarz, and they had a new exhibition. And for this exhibition, yes, I was there and I made some photos and made some videos and I have to say that it was an absolute disappointing thing for me and why you can see it on my videos which comes now. The exhibition was in the new Gerd Kesey room and yes, most, the most important part was that you could see dozens of objects in, an, let's say, in a display depot and really it looks like, like, like a flea market or like a cheap, like seeing a cheap dealer. Dozens and dozens of objects and some of them are really great but without any space, without nothing. Here you see some uh, Yoruba posts, here some more Yoruba things. You know, there can be art if you show them properly. But here, it is not. These three bodies are fantastic, but it makes no sense to, to place it on the, on the shelf before the, these big things. The eyes can't see it. It's, it's so disappointing. Here are some drums, and here are the voodoo things. So there's no, no scheme, no order scheme behind it. I'm just, uh, I, was, I was very confused and I was very disappointed. Here's some other objects and more objects and more objects. You know, once again, this is not a flea market. You can't buy them. Here's one coffin from Ghana. But this is an, the main exhibition in one of my favorite museums. It's unbelievable. Here's some uh, Benavi sculptures by Adimo, Adima Kuku. And, you know, it looks, I have one room, and I made a video about it, I have one room at home which I call collector room, and it looks very similar to this one, because I don't have any space. But this is a museum. Here's some Nigeria sculptures on the floor. They could be powerful, but not when they are shot like this. And I really, I did not understand that the... the feeling why they did this, the concept behind all the things. Here's a nice, nice cologne. Do they want to show that African art is not art anymore? Do they want to show that this is some, that they don't care about collectors? Do they want to show that they don't, cannot care about the creators, the artists who made these objects? Here's some voodoo, and then you have some Ghana things, and then you have a lot of weapons. And you have a um, price. No, these are not price tags. So once again, you can't buy it. Here yeah, from Ghana, once again. So if you know what, what this, all this is about, once again, this is the main part of the exhibition, then please write me a comment. Some more weapons, some color things, some black things, some brown things, some golden things. Daikari, Boki, and you see the, on the right side the, the, the Ibu mask. It could be a very powerful mask, but not, not, not if it's standing on the floor. <laughs> and this is an iconic object. It's a mask from Bali. It looks very melancholic if it looks at you. But here it's, you just see the side, you don't see the front. And it's not possible to see the front. So they don't care for any aesthetic values. 
here see once again a lot of things just more things here's some from Bura <laughs> I really I, I didn't understand what, what they're doing I thought a museum is there that they take objects and the, they let the objects tell stories here for example has some coffin figures but no but what is the story behind this one what is the story behind this all it's a very big decorative item and some Benin things, Benin things, and yeah, and here's some knocks, knocks in prison. You can talk a lot of about knock sculptures in a museum, but not when they're in prison. I think the left one wants to break out, while the right one is absolutely resigned. Yeah, poor guy some Asen Altairs and then we have some Nigeria items of fantastic customs I think normally they have 10 or 20 customs here you see one and a half yeah I know I'm really speechless this is the main part of an ex exhibition in a great museum what a pity this is one room like, like a tent I think it was made by students night lightning but why is there such a handicraft Benin bronze in the middle and there's all over von, von Eidel's style sculpture why may they not look at me here's a helmet the helmet is okay so questions 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 uh, this is about uh, Casey was at uh, visited uh, Albert Schweitzer in the 1960s here you can see Schweitzer and Casey in the middle, and this is Albert Schweitzer. And this is here, this is a very nice mask. It should be a portrait of Albert Schweitzer, it was made in the 60s, 50s or 60s. And yes, there are some similarities if you compare the faces. Then you can see some books that Kesey has written. And a picture with him. You know, he's a fantastic photographer. And some more books. And at the end, you see what uh, the, the which great exhibitions the Museum der Volker, Haus der Volker, has done in the last 25 years. Thanks. Bye.